Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today we are going to talk about the new tool that I just added to the wall plugin. And this tool is actually wall panelization. So let's jump here into the uh, global settings for the Medique Wall. And underneath the Wall tab, or Walls tab, sorry, um, you'll see it, there's a new section here called wall panelization. So I just recently added this in and basically what it allows you to do is break up walls into separate panels instead of having one long wall. So you can turn this off um, or you can turn it on and then you can also set your wall panel length. And I think the default wall panel length is 12 feet, but you can set that to whatever um, you know length you would like. So let's go ahead and let's try this out. We're going to turn this on. And then we're going to hit Save Settings. And let's go ahead and lay down a grid real quick. And we're going to show you guys how this works. So so that the global settings, of course, is set, will set the default behavior. Um, so that the default behavior, we've turned it on. And you don't have to turn it on, actually, to use a wall panelization, but in the global settings, that is. But um, you can do that. So when you first click the uh, wall panel, draw wall tool, sorry, um, you'll notice that when you have the default uh, wall panelization turned on, you're going to have in this little corner up in the upper uh, right corner, you're going to have this little wall panel that comes up. And if you mouse your mouse over it in the menu, you will see that it'll say wall panelization is turned on and wall panel length is set to 144 inches or 12 feet. Okay, so th that just kind of gives you a little heads up so that you know, you're aware that wall panelization is turned on. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to select a wall, section of wall here. And um, let's go with a 28 foot wall. So you can notice right off the bat that <clears throat> what it's doing is breaking the wall into 12 foot sections. And I'm just going to complete this little rectangular structure to demonstrate. And right here. Okay, so I jumped out. Okay, so pretty basic, really. Um, you know, it's just, it's essentially drawing the walls like normal, but it's just, uh, let's turn off the gypsum here so we can take a look at that framing. Um, it's just essentially splitting the wall into these 12 foot sections. So uh, honestly, you know, <clears throat> you don't actually need the wall or the panelization to do this sort of thing. I mean, if you click the wall tool, and I'm going to, actually show you guys how to toggle this off in a second here actually, oh, let's jump out of that um you know you you can draw these 12 foot sections of walls one after the other right so like let's say you draw that wall and then you want another 12 foot section and you want another 12 foot section etc etc you know you can do that and notice you can just work your way around any perimeter the the only upside really to having this new option is that instead of having to keep you know clicking more mouse uh, clicks for each wall segment all you have to do is just draw the entire wall and it will take care of splitting that wall up for you the one thing to be aware of though is that you know like for instance in this case notice how as we wrap counterclockwise around the building it started the wall panels on the left side or the start point of the original wall and worked them this way now, you know, the, of course, if you want to get around that, um, let's demonstrate that actually. Let's say, let's redo this here, seg segment of wall. So let's say we wanted the uh, four foot section of wall to start on this end and then do the next piece. Let's go ahead and start that back up. And I'm going to turn the wall panelization on. And so what I would do probably is I, I know kind of what, you know, that we've got two 12 foot sections here. So I would probably just draw the four foot section like this. And, you know, as long as the wall panel is smaller than the panelization length, then it's just going to draw it like normal. Right. And then I would do the last, the, the neck, all stretch myself out all the way to the next piece. Sorry, let me try and get to that corner of that framing. And you can see that now the, two sections that are drawn are basically like I suggested that they were after this four foot section. So 
by default, yes, the panelization tool will try to start with the, the bigger, you know, the 12 foot panels or whatever panel size you want, and then do the remainder at the end, which is on, going to be on your right hand side, looking at it from the exterior. But if you do need to do this sort of thing where it starts on the right or the remainder is on the left hand side, then I would just put your remainder there and then go ahead and stretch out and get the rest of the walls. So, you know, there's kind of a easy enough workaround there for that. Um, and I may add some other option eventually, which lets you select uh, whether it starts from the left or the right side. But for now, it starts basically from the left side. Okay, let's go back to the, um, the tool itself, back to the draw wall tool. So you notice that I was able to toggle that off. So right now it's toggled on, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> the way to toggle it on and off is once, when you, once the menu is up, um, first of all, you've got to take the focus off the menu. If the focus is on the menu like it is right now, and you know you hit any of the hotkeys, it's I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but it, none of the hotkeys will fire unless the focus is off of the menu and in the main SketchUp window itself. So you got to get the focus in the main SketchUp window. And then once you do that, you can hit the up arrow, okay? This, you know the four little arrows on your keyboard and this should work either window windows or mac and when you hit the up arrow you'll notice that the little um rectangle there with the two framing uh, panels goes away and if you hit the up arrow again um I'm sorry i've got to get the focus off uh, it comes back so you can quickly toggle between turning it on turning it off and that sort of thing so if i turn it on right now and i draw um you know, a bunch of wall panels. It will it will um, go ahead and draw those. And I'm gonna actually delete all. We've got too many here now, so let's just delete a bunch of them there, just for demonstration purposes. Now, notice that I left it in the toggled on condition, right? So the next time I open, at least in the same session of SketchUp, if I open this up, it's going to keep that toggled on um, uh, state. So again, um, if I want to uh, toggle it off I just get like I said get your mouse here in the main window and then just go ahead and hit the up arrow and now it's toggled off see then let's go ahead and draw ourselves that same 28 foot wall and notice it makes just one wall um, I think that's pretty much it there's not a whole lot to this uh, new feature again I think you know a person could literally do the same thing by just simply stretching out 12 feet and stretching another 12 feet and so on and so forth but the only upside really is that the wall panelization tool allows you to do it all in one click so I'm going to toggle that back on and I'm going to do that one last time and of course I clicked in the wrong mouse spot but that's fine so you can see we've got um, the 12 foot wall and the other smaller panel anyways um, I think that's about it like I said, uh, if you want to get in here into the walls uh, tab, you can set this uh, wall panel length. Um, you cannot set the wall panel length in the draw wall tool itself. You set that in the global settings only. And then, but you can toggle uh, the option on or off while you are in the in the in the draw menu. So, all right. Well, thank you everybody, very much, guys. And um, yeah, thank you to my daughter who provided the uh, little intro for us today. And we'll talk to you guys later.